In this tutorial, we're going to focus on related rate problems as it relates to triangles. So let's start with this one. The base of a right triangle is increasing at 3 centimeters per minute, while the height of the triangle is increasing at a rate of 5 centimeters per minute. How fast is the area of the triangle changing when the base and height are 8 centimeters and 10 centimeters long, respectively? So let's draw a picture. So here we have a right triangle. And this is the base of the right triangle. And this is the height. The area of the right triangle is simply 1 half base times height. Now let's write down what we know. So we know the base is 8 centimeters. And the height is 10 centimeters. We also know the rate at which the base and the height are changing. The base is increasing at 3 centimeters per minute. And the height, it's increasing at a rate of 5 centimeters per minute. So with this information, how can we determine how fast the area of the triangle is changing. So basically, what is dA dt? What's the value that corresponds to it? Now, what we need to do is we need to differentiate this equation with respect to time. So the derivative of a is 1 but times dA dt. Now, how can we differentiate 1 half base times height? The base and the height they're changing, they don't have a fixed length, and so they're variables, not constants. Therefore, we need to use the product rule. Now, just recall, let's say if you wish to differentiate f times g, it's going to be the derivative of the first times the second plus the first part times the derivative of the second part. So just keep that in mind. Let's say that f is 1 half times the base, and g is going to be the height. So f prime, the derivative of the first part, the derivative of 1 half b is 1 half times 1. And then the derivative of b is just 1 times db dt, if we're differentiating with respect to time. And then it's going to be times the second part plus the first part times the derivative of the second part. The derivative of h is 1 times dh dt. So now we have everything that we need to calculate dA dt. So db dt, that's 3 centimeters per minute, and h is 10, and then b is 8, and then dH dt is 5. So 10 times a half is 5. 5 times 3 is 15. 1 half of 8 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. And then 15 plus 20 is 35. Now let's focus on the units. So let me just get rid of this real quick. What are the units for dA dt? So what's the unit for area? We're dealing with centimeters, but area is always in square units. So this is going to be 35 square centimeters. And for time, the time is in minutes. So it's going to be 35 square centimeters per minute. If you look at dBdt, the unit was centimeters per minute. And then for h, it's going to be time centimeters. And that will give you square centimeters per minute. So there's different ways in which you can employ to find the uh, unit for your final answer. So that's it, 35 square centimeters per minute. Now let's work on another problem. A triangle has two sides of fixed length, which are 5 meters and 8 meters long. The angle between the two sides is increasing at a rate of 0.15 radians per minute. How fast is the area of the triangle changing 
when the angle between the two sides is pi over 3. So let's draw a picture first. Now we don't have a right triangle, so we're going to draw simply a generic triangle. This is going to be angle A, B, and C. Across angle A, we have side A, and then across angle B is side B, and then here we have side C. So anytime you have a generic triangle, this is what you want to draw. And for this particular triangle, we have this formula. The area is equal to 1 half AB sine of angle C. So all of the capital letters represents angles, and the lowercase letters represents sides. Now, let's make a list of what we know. So we have two sides of fixed length, 5 meters and 8 meters. Let's call that A and B. So we're going to say A is 5 meters, B is 8 meters. Now, we also know the angle between the two sides. You can call it theta if you want, or you can call it angle C. Let's call it angle C. And angle C, which is between those two side lengths, A and B, it's pi over 3. Now, we also have the rate at which the angle is changing. And the angle between the two sides, which is dc dt, that's changing at a rate of 0.15 radians per minute. All we need to do now is calculate how fast the area of the triangle is changing. Now, notice that we don't have dA dt and dB dt. Why is that not given to us? Why don't we have that? And the reason is that a and b are not variables in this problem. Rather, they're constants. And the key expression that we need to focus on is those sides are of a fixed length. Because a and b do not change, dA dt is 0 and dB dt is 0. So we don't have to worry about differentiating a and b. We don't have to treat it as variables, simply as constants. And that's going to make this problem a lot easier. So let's go ahead and differentiate this equation with respect to time. So the derivative of a is going to be dA dt. And then this is going to equal the constant based on the constant multiple rule. So we can just rewrite that. 1 half ab. And then c is the variable. So the derivative of sine c, the derivative of sine is cosine, so we're going to have cosine of angle c, and then according to the chain rule, we need to differentiate the inside function of sine, so the derivative of c is 1 times dc dt. So now let's plug in what we know. So a is 5, b is 8, and then we have cosine of c, or cosine of pi over 3, times dc dt, which is 0.15. Now, 8 times 5 is 40, and half of 40 is 20. Cosine pi over 3 is 1 half. So half of 20 is 10, and 10 times 0.15 is 1.5. Now, what are the units? So we know this is going to be square units, and the lengths are in meters, so this is going to be square meters. And then dt, that's a unit of time. We're dealing with minutes, so it's square meters per minute. So that's how fast the area is changing. It's increasing by 1.5 square meters every minute. So that means that in two minutes, it's going to increase by three square meters. In 10 minutes, if we multiply it by 10 minutes, the unit minutes will cancel. And so in 10 minutes, it will increase by 15 square meters. And that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to find the rate at which the area is changing uh, for a right triangle or just any regular triangle. Thanks for watching.